At what we're seeing here on the ground from our location, we're standing not too far away from the intersection of 9th and Franklin here, where it's an un unmistakable, it, the crowds are massive here. Some you um, will see are wearing bulletproof vests and helmets, not shy to wear their rifle across their vest. You will hear, like Cheryl mentioned, the occasional USA chants breaking out. Multiple Where do you streets want to go? are closed here. The city is using those large dump trucks to create a barrier between the cars and the crowd. So an absolute massive crowd that we're seeing here. We also stopped by the Diamond this morning where some individuals who are coming in from out of the city or from the area are parking at the Diamond and that's where they're going and getting on shuttle buses and are t being taken here to the Capitol. And I'm told that people are still trying to park there as we speak just to attend these massive rallies. So you might be able to hear them uh, the echoes of their chants there. I mostly saw license plates from Virginia and North Carolina. I did speak to a man who says he flew in from Texas. I am told individuals are here from all the way from Alaska in California. We caught up with a father and son who drove in this morning from Tappahannock. They said they had no choice but to join their fellow pro-gun supporters and be heard. He told me the country is watching Virginia. It's a, it's a test state right now. It really is. And uh, what happens here is it's going to be very important, you know, throughout the country because people are looking at this today. So the good news so far, we have witnessed a relatively peaceful, calm rally that the crowds certainly are not slowing down. They are out here in full force and we will be keeping up with the crowds on my Facebook and on our Twitter. Of course, we'll have more on air and online for you here in Working For You in downtown Richmond. I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News.